Hi. Okay. This is another video for my um, To Be Kind um, series that I guess that's what it would be called because it's a continual thing and to be added to my playlist of um, nice things to do. As I said in the other video and I shall always say, um, well, that you could, there are people that have the concept of you should hide that, um, you know, like you shouldn't say the kind of things you did, like make a wish kind of a thing, because it's not going to come true or something like that, but, but, um, I think you should always display your kindness, because even if you say what you did, that is still giving other people encouragement to do it, and understanding that that's okay to do, even though it's all okay to do, but it's okay to do that kindness, um, that it's, um, the same thing with a smile or a hello to a complete per like person you don't know. Um, but let's not digress more. But so you can open the door for somebody. Even if you don't know they're going to go in through that door, open the door and hold the door open. Like if you're sitting down at a restaurant being patient to be start eating, go ahead and be the door person, if you will. Open that door for the people that are leaving, that are coming in, and smile. You know, you don't have to, but why not do the whole entire thing, you know? Um, if you see somebody not drop something, go ahead and pick it up for them. Um, say hello to them, to a complete person. Like, you don't know. Say hello. How are you doing today? And then to kind of give a, like, a moment-to-moment -moment basis of living in the now moment, instead of giving, instead of giving like a like a brief, frank description of how you feel, go ahead and think more positively, kind of a thing, and say, "I'm doing amazing." You might be having the worst day, but you know they might be having the worst day. But if you say, "I'm doing amazing," you're encouraging them to say, "Hey, it's okay," and also yourself to say, "Hey, it's okay." Yeah, I'm having this day, but do I need to view it from what I'm viewing it from or do it, view it from happiness and whatnot? Um, write notes that say you're amazing on the napkins to the waiter. Arrange the plates that you just ate from in that restaurant. Yes, you came. you probably came there to be fed and to have people clean up but it's always nice to be able to have that person come to that table with the loving words and having everything already set up you know um instead of writing f you on the, the stall or whatnot right love you on the stall yes it might not be preferable but it's still the whole thing of a smile from a random person and I'm sure they're going to rather have a carved out I love you than whatever else that could be unpreferable. Um, go ahead and hug somebody. Go ahead and say you're beautiful to someone. Um, and a tidbit to giving out things that don't expect to get them back. Like, I'm going to pay your rent. I'm going to pay something for you, but... Don't expect that person to necessarily ever give that back to you. That money, that exact person to give that back to you. Just expect to get it back. Not from that person, but some, from some other way of getting it back. From kindness of, hey, I can get you lunch today when you just ran out of money or something like that. You know, somebody holds open the door. Yes, it might be small, but it, wouldn't it be awesome to get your gifts uh, instead of one big thing of in the moments that you really need them. Um, so just remember that when you're giving out stuff like that or anything. Like, my mindset is, um, I'm going to give this to you. There are some things that I really, really, really prefer to get back. But because I know that the universe is going to provide for me and I'm doing something nice, I'm going to get it back. I might not get that back, but I'm going to get something back. And... Maybe that person really needed it. Like, um, 
like a calculator and they really needed a calculator and so they kept it maybe they really had the intention of giving it back to you and they just couldn't find you or they just never had that intention but isn't it always better to love but but um If you go from the mindset of, I'm always going to have what I need, never more, never less, but I'm always going to have what I need, you will always have what you need, and then more, because you're not, you're not, um, not limiting yourself to, this is what it is, you're saying, I know that the universe is going to provide for me, and I know that I've done my three commandments, which is really two, um, out of the ten that they say you need, when all you really need is three, to be kind, to work hard, and not to hurt someone else. Which is basically, be kind and work hard. There's just two of them. Yes, you have the whole reincarnation thing where you want them to hurt you and to give you a lesson, and to hold space, and da da da, sift with karma, da da da. But, it's really, just be kind and work hard. If you're kind, then what are you doing wrong? If you're not harming, harming, harming someone, then you're not doing anything wrong. And if you're working hard for it, like, yeah, you smoke weed or you do a drug, but you didn't just go out and rob somebody of something and you actually earned it in the sense of earning it, regardless if you got it from being kind and you're getting your ninth out of the ten degree because it's three times onto you for doing something bad, but it's ten times onto you for doing something good. So you're on your ninth, ninth kind of a thing of get the good of being able to have that money, of being able to smoke that weed. Because you're being kind and you're working for it. But go out and do something really nice. Um, it always feels really good. Even if it's on Facebook, and all you do is you share things because you have these inspirational things and you just randomly click a letter and because you're sharing it to somebody you click a letter and then you um you post it to them now now facebook likes to limit it because they think that it's unpreferable to just keep sharing things but i've actually had it like two times of um being blocked for two days of um, can't share anything more. And it's like, okay, okay. But, um, so you can do that. But, you know, and always be kind to yourself. Overall, be kind to yourself because with you being kind to yourself and seeing that kindness for yourself, you're able to do kindness for others because. Submit, <coughs> sand or water. You're going to learn no matter what how to swim in all of them, but for sure you're going to learn how to swim in the water. <laughs>